Welcome to our journey into the heart of space, where we're going to explore the unseen monsters of the cosmos, black holes. Let's dive in. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from it, not even light. That's why we call them black. Black holes were first proposed in 1915 by Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity, but they were just theoretical until the first one was discovered in 1971. Fast forward to 2023, scientists have now detected hundreds of black holes, and each one gives us more clues about our universe. Let's imagine a black hole as an infinitely deep well. Anything that falls into this well can never climb out again. But how do black holes form? They are born from the remnants of massive stars. When such a star has burnt out its fuel, it explodes in a supernova. The core that remains collapses under its gravity, forming a black hole. Another great scientist, Stephen Hawking, revolutionized our understanding of black holes in the 1970s. He proposed that black holes can actually emit particles, a phenomenon now known as Hawking radiation. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this journey into the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest explorations. Now let's take a closer look at the structure of a black hole. The event horizon is the boundary around a black hole that acts as the point of no return. Cross this, and you're not coming back. Then there's the singularity, the core of the black hole where gravity becomes infinite. But what happens if you approach the event horizon of a black hole? Here's where things get really strange. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, Time and space are interwoven into a single continuum known as space-time. Massive objects like black holes distort this space-time, causing time to slow down near them, a phenomenon known as time dilation. Imagine you are watching someone fall into a black hole from a safe distance. As they approach the event horizon, you would see them appear to slow down and eventually freeze, stuck at the edge of the black hole. This is a result of extreme time dilation. Interestingly, from the perspective of the person falling into the black hole, time would seem to pass normally. This strange effect is one of the many curiosities that make black holes such fascinating objects. Black holes aren't just theoretical wonders, they have real impacts on their surroundings. They can influence the formation of galaxies and stir up interstellar gas, leading to the birth of new stars. So, how do we study something we can't see? Well, while we can't see black holes themselves, we can observe their effects on the space around them. For example, black holes can pull in gas and dust, forming a hot, glowing disk around them. One of the most exciting recent discoveries involves a team from Durham University. They found an ultra-massive black hole, one of the largest ever detected, using a method known as gravitational lensing. This is a bit like using a nearby galaxy as a giant magnifying glass to see distant black holes. They also used supercomputers and images from the Hubble Space Telescope to confirm its size. The Durham University team used supercomputers to simulate the journey of light through the universe hundreds of thousands of times, each time including a black hole of a different mass. They noticed that when they included a supermassive black hole in their simulations, the path that the light took matched the path seen in real images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. What they had discovered was an ultra-massive black hole, more than 30 billion times the mass of our sun, so, um, inside a galaxy hundreds of millions of light years away from Earth. Interestingly, most of the black holes we know about are in an active state, where matter pulled in close to the black hole heats up and releases energy in the form of light, X-rays, and other radiation. Gravitational lensing, however, allows us to study inactive black holes, something not currently possible in distant galaxies. This new approach could let us discover far more inactive and ultra-massive black holes than previously thought and investigate how they grew so large. If you're curious to know more about the groundbreaking discovery by Durham University, check out the link in the description below. Despite all we've learned, black holes still hold many mysteries. For example, we still don't fully understand what happens at the singularity, where our current laws of physics seem to break down. This black hole discovery is a great example of how we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. But even with these advances, we still have much to learn about these unseen monsters of space. So keep watching the stars, and who knows what we'll find next. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the universe. Until next time.